hi to Chaco. Death Dot, is that Lord Dark Hollow? For her, uh, she. Of course, Blade's gonna create this creep camp. So Ogre Warrior is going down pretty fast. He's dead. Circlet. Does the Archmage pick up the Circlet? It's such a good item. He does pick it up. What a nice pickup there by the Archmage. Water Elemental does go down. And. Oh, Death Knight takes some damage. Footman chops him up. Death Knight kills a uh, piggy. So, when is he gonna creep this creep camp? He's definitely going for an expansion on this map, right? Yeah, definitely. Even Blade. Even though he's Blade. And Blade has been playing a lot of one base strategies in the last few days. On this map, you definitely go for this expansion. He's building more peasants, so there's proof. This is his 10th peasant. So that's proof that he's going for the expansion. But Lord Dark Hollow has an, a plan, guys. He has a plan. He summons his ghouls. Four ghouls. There's one ghoul still at home. Skeleton wakes up the creep, so there's more bloodlust. Right, this guy casts bloodlust on the troll. Now he will cast bloodlust again once uh, he wake up, wakes up again. Look, this troll is already bloodlisted now. And now this one as well. So two bloodlisted trolls. Uh, there's a skeleton here just attacking the peasants. This one, oh, the death knight. Got one of the trolls, 48 XP. Skeleton is uh, being killed by militia though. Here come the ghouls. The ghouls, there's not much that they can do to be honest. Like, what are you gonna do with four ghouls here? There's a coil, he does get a level five though. 140 XP's, he kills one peasant with the ghouls. Okay, that's pretty nice. This uh, peasant retreating a skeleton. What's it? No, the skeleton falls apart. Gone. The skeleton is gone, guys. What a game. There's two skeletons. There's a coil. It kills the peasant. Okay, well, I mean, ghouls. Uh, this ghoul is he. He's still alive. This ghoul, oh, do we have, uh, we don't have another coil. This ghoul is also dead. Wah! And he kill, does get a peasant, so one dead ghoul, a bunch of dead peasants. The XP is only slightly in advantage of blade. Only slightly. The, oh, and a coil for, on this peasant. The peasant is dead. This skeleton is also dead. Archmage level two, he has two circlets. Death Knight, level two. So, uh, where's his fiend? Wait, no fiends? No fiends, okay. <laughs> panda. Oh, panda, guys! She going with the panda. The death knight just distracting the archmage. Killing the piggy! Oh, the sad little piggy. He can summon some skeletons, maybe? The death knight doesn't want to be surrounded. And he doesn't get surrounded, but here comes the panda. Breath of fire on the peasants. He doesn't have skeletons, though. Uh, death knight has the... Revolt of Necromancy, he summons the skeleton, sends him over to help the panda. The panda is just killing this one peasant, but he survives. The panda is probably going to be surrounded here and, and killed. But this breath of fire hits two peasants, kills them both. Very nice. Actually, the panda, no one tries to kill the panda. The footmen just uh, all go for these skeletons. They go for the easy targets. Hello. These footmen, I understand how they're thinking. Uh, this peasant, though, this peasant is going to die for sure. Death Knight snipes him almost. No, skeleton gets a kill. Your dark hello, still alive. He's uh, 43 hit points. Okay. This skeleton goes down. Nice. And I mean, the death knight is kind of low. The panda has no more mana. There's no peasants here. Here they are. And all four skeletons to intercept the peasants. Panda will soon have mana. Maybe one more breath of fire will do something, but no, nah, he doesn't risk it. Or does he? His Archmage does so much damage with the two circlets. One peasant almost dies. No, he doesn't die. Panda going back home. But here comes the Death Knight. He can kill the one peasant. This one peasant, guys. It's all about this one peasant. You can call him Mr. James. Mr. James here. He's just working. He's taking out some damage. Yeah, he works for a salary, guys. He's a nice employee. And he's dead now. He's dead. There's a panda breath of fire. Gonna hit some more peasants. There it is. 
This put me at third long hit points. Do we get uh, a fiend? We have one fiend, one slaughterhouse, and one uh, house of dead that's being upgraded to Black Citadel. The panda though. Sid Joe, Honeybrew, takes so much damage. This footman is still alive. Can someone please kill it? <laughs> panda tries to creep. I think the Archmage got the XP there. I'm not sure, but. I'm not sure how much XP he had. It feels like. Maybe he didn't, actually. I don't know. Well, both these heroes are almost level 3. Death Knight has no more mana. He has one more skeletons, though. So, there's two more skeletons. The footman already in defensive position. They know what the skeletons go for now. They know the skeletons just want to kill peasants and not footmen. And the skeletons, they give up. I'm going home. That's how skeletons talk, of course, because they're just skeletons of peons. They're skeletons of peasants. So, they talk like peasants. There's a panda, panda's back. There's black citadel, there's uh, some statues. There's an orb. Wait, why would you buy an orb? Buy skeletons. He buys the lich, but the lich will buy the orb. That makes more sense. Uh, Archmage is sniping this death knight. Will he have to buy a T uh, healing potion? He might just sell the TP. He might. Might be the correct play here to just sell the TP, buy a healing potion, and just go on your way. But the Archmage with the boost of speed is just so strong. Maybe you just play patiently, wait for your Lich, and then win the game. Or try to win the game. Oh, there's a statue. The panda and the little fiend. Fighting against the Archmage and the Water Elemental. Statue in the back. Healing. There's some ghouls helping out. There's some skeletons being killed by footmen. Water Elemental going for. The hills. He found a nice place to die, and he died, guys. A player's forces are under attack. So happy there's a dark hello. Yeah. <laughs> Is that light hello though? Well, there's one elemental. This one elemental takes a bit of damage. So our is still not level three. Only two more XP needed for level three. This peasant gets <laughs> gets away. Nice get away there by the peasant. There's no towers up yet in the main fight. Oh my god, there's only two towers going up in the first place. Blacksmith takes so much damage. It has been cancelled. Breath of Fire helped a lot. This means the workshop's gonna be late, guys. They're gonna be late. There's a coil on the ghoul. Statue's moving in the background. There's a frost armor. What? Okay, he has frost armor. No, no. <laughs> Was that a misclick? Hello? There's a coil and a frost armor on this ghoul. And the ghoul dies. The Archmage finally level 3 now. There's a Mount King. These footmen are all dying, of course, because the Mount King... Uh, is here now so all the footmen are no longer needed they're irrelevant nice breath of fire death knight level four lord dark hello and he coils a ghoul not the death the mountain king and this this fiend blocks the mountain king a little bit i feel like the mountain king has lived a long life like he lived for like 10 seconds or so 15 maybe 20 seconds before he died and there he goes <laughs> meanwhile over here panda is now level two Level 2 Panda, doesn't matter much. This oh, cool dice. Does he pick crit? He will probably pick critical strike and uh, evasion. There's four towers up over there. We, are s we have two towers over there. Nice breath of fire. Hit a few. Uh, hit the tower, maybe some peons. There's water metal at the back. Can someone kill it, please? Skeletons, listen to me. Thanks, guys. They take out the water metal. The footman here is also pretty dead. And now the tower is going down as well. The lich, does he have mana? Yeah, but he has frost armor. He's just like the ice cream instead of. Uh, uh, smoothie. That's why he has frost armor instead of Nova. Uh, okay, the Mountain King. The Panda, I mean, still alive. Archmage in trouble. Oh, no! TP! He TPs. Okay. Panda, Sinjo, Honeybrew. In the back, guys. There's Lich. On fire? Sheik is on fire. He's on ice. Sheik is on ice, guys. He's killing peasants. Here comes the Mountain King, though. One Stormbolt. It's not enough. For the panda. But he's, he's trying to stabilize. He's trying to keep his expansion alive. That's what the Mountain King is trying to do. It's not his home, but you know, he's trying to help out. It's like his neighbor's home. Just trying to help his friends, guys. The Mountain King is like, someone calls him in the middle of the night. He's like, I'm under attack. And he just shows up. Doesn't care that his dad and pandas and liches. Okay, there's Stormbolt on the Fiend. The Fiend does it kill the Fiend. Mount King is retreating. 
Oh my god, critical strike and a no coil nova. 62 critical strike, the fiend goes down. Butter metals, I mean, he can eat butter metals now. There's a destroyer, <laughs> there's the first one, right? The first destroyer, finally. Well, how many minutes in the game are we? Like, let me just check real fast. 12 minutes in the game, guys, and we have a destroyer now. A destroyer. He's killing peasants. That's a fire, nice. There's a knight. There's a tube of workshop. He's going for tanks. Oh, did he see romantic? Did he see romantics games against Lucifer? Because if he did, he knows how to win games, guys. He knows how to win this matchup for sure. He knows to just sit in your car, honk the, the horn, and just drive, guys. Just drive in your car. That's what he's gonna do. Chocolate League Finals, this is Saturday? Yes, this Saturday, guys. This Saturday. This knight almost attacked the fiend, but the fiend retreated. So the fiend is still alive. Okay. What a game. Hi, Chaco. Did you pre pwn this qualifier or was it planned this way? I uh, I added it. There was never going to be a ninth qualifier because of. Uh, you know, we only had eight. We only need eight people to qualify. So I added it. And it, after I, you know, after I added it. Uh, we never changed the time. Not, night takes a bit of damage. Well, I mean, this destroyer, if he gives too much time to blade here, these tanks are gonna destroy his base. There are the first two tanks. Oh no, these are the first two tanks. They already killed the altar. I thought those were the first two, but those are the third and the fourth, or maybe even the fifth and sixth. One tank uh, is here about to die. The shop went down already. She definitely has a time limit here. It's Panda's level 3 now though. Level 2 Breath of Fire is super duper powerful. We have a meat wagon here in the base. Maybe we can get another one. Another meat wagon would be nice. This knight, I mean, this knight is still alive. This water metal is gonna be eaten. Or killed. Same thing, there's another tank. It's slightly different. Knight, so long hit points, there's some more tanks. I think I'd rather be uh, killed than eaten, to be honest. Like. Oh, nice breath of fire. Coil on the peasant. Okay, well, okay. So Sheik, I do think he's ahead. Don't think there's enough uh, money really for tanks here. Blade, what can he do, guys? What would Romantic do? More tanks, for sure. For sure, guys. Build another farm, build two tanks, win the game. That's what Romantic would do. But what is Blade going to do? I don't know. <laughs> and this here, level 3. The Death Knight, level 3. Lord Dark Hollow, level 3, almost level 4. The Panda has boots. And the Panda, a Paladin here, takes a bit of damage. He's level 1. The Mount King level 1, the Archmage level 3. This Ogre Magi going down fast, can he uh, snipe it with the Stormbolt? I mean, if he wants to. No, he doesn't. Look at everyone missing. 66 critical striker by the Panda. Potion of greater mana, such a nice item, of course. You can use either on your Death Knight, your Ma Panda, or your Lich. There's a Tome of Strength, no one likes it, no one wants it. You know, no one likes to read books during war. Books are uh, something you read during peace. There goes the Paladin. GG. First game goes to Sheik. First game, guys, in the semifinals goes to Sheik. Okay, I wish I could, man. I wish I... I mean, I can. Lord Darkseid, hello! Archmage, what's going to creep here with the militia, guys? This creep camp, okay, nice. This footman scouts the Death Knight, Death Knight. This Acolyte scouts this area, so uh, he knows the blade is not creeping this. He knows. Here comes the Death Knight. The Archmage picks up a claws of attack plus six. He does so much more damage now. He kills the two ogres but leaves the trolls alive. The Death Knight can coil anyone. But who's he gonna coil? First troll. He's being coiled. Is he going for the turtles or is he going back for the first trolls? Oh, he realizes the first trolls are under attack. He goes in to save the first trolls. So nice here by Blade. But all the Forest Souls are killed by the evil Death Knight. 
64 XP and go to the Death Knight. Blade wanted to save them, but in the end he was just too late, guys. He tried, he did his best. But heroes, sometimes they're just too late to the scene. And people die. Unlike in movies, where they always save everyone. In real life, people die, guys. Here comes our Archmage, he's just going for the base. What can he do here? There's a fiend. A fiend in a moment. Does that full camp give level 2? No. Not yet. Not not quite. I mean, it gives like 64 plus, uh, plus whatever he had, which was... 96? A player's forces are under attack. 160? Baller Metal almost dies to skeleton. Wants his creep jump. He wants his turtle. This fiend also wants a turtle. Tur uh, fiends, of course, the spiders. They eat turtles for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They're the delicacy turtles. And the death knight they can't skill. Arcanist picks up the cloak of shadows. And uh, this uh, this one won't be enough for level two. But with the skeleton, oh, the water metal goes down. The death knight almost level two. Hello. So Arcanist go for the skeleton. Does he get the skeleton? Yes. If he gets his uh, turtle, then he's level two, guys. And he gets it. Nice. Level two on the arc mage. That's nice. That's nice. A player's forces are under attack. That is so nice. You want the death knight? Creeping this with an acolyte. Okay, you crept this with an acolyte. The acolyte still alive now as two skeletons. Half of the acolyte goes down. The other half is trying to kill this turtle. And the death knight. Okay, no more acolyte, guys. No more acolyte. Death Knight just finishes off the turtle. He's level 2 now. Picks up some nice slippers. Meanwhile, the Archmage is creeping this creep camp. That's nice. There's a fiend. <laughs> Town hall going up. His troll is dead. <laughs> His foodie takes a bit of damage. Archmage defending the footman, guys. He does so much damage. Claws of attack, he does 30 to 36 damage. Nice block there by the Archmage, saving his footman from the evil Fosmorn in the Death Knight's hand. There's a Rifleman. He could block the, footman, uh, the Death Knight as well, but he's too late. And now he's shooting the Death Knight. The footman can die to one more hit, one more coil. There he goes. Okay, well. Archman is going to kill some turtles. We have a Mount King. There's some more riflemen with the, the longer rifles. Arcane Sanctum going up. And here, what do we get over here? Do we have a Lich yet? See fiends? No Lich. Slaughterhouse. There's a Lich. What a game, guys. To battle. Seriously, Death Knight came from behind. Fiends here, kill. go for this turtle. Here's the Death Knight as well, helping out the fiends. Just killing a turtle. This turtle's going down so fast. Hello. The turtle. Oh, is he dead yet? Uh, 13 hit points? I, I understand there's something important here, but 13 hit points is maybe worth to kill. Okay, he kills it. Does he pick up the item? Just realize he's too late. Okay, I think he just realized he's too late. And the Skeleton Magic get the last hit. He didn't, right? <laughs> no, there's no way he did. Archmage almost level 3. Mount King almost level 2. Skeleton is in trouble. Oh, he's gone, guys. He's dead. Skeleton's making sure there's no expansion going up here. This peasant is an easy kill for skeletons. Hello. Don't kill this one. The priest can maybe heal him. Oh, too, too late. The priest was too late. Skeleton goes down. The other skeleton also dead. Meanwhile, over here. Death Knight is creeping over here. He has Ring of Protection now. Level 3 now. There's the Slaughterhouse. Second one, actually, now. And he is a tier 3. So there's two ways we can do this, right? With this expansion, nothing changes. It just means uh, Blade will be on the defensive instead of on the offensive. This is not the Imperial strat. This is not the Mr. Winner strat, guys. This is a sock strategy. I mean, 
There's probably more people that have done this before, but it's something we I've seen a lot done by Sock. A tier two expansion with riflemen. So um, yeah, uh, you can either go with the Crypt Lord, of course, with Impale, or you can go with the Dark Ranger with the uh, Arrow, Black Arrow, and you know, yeah, Black Arrow very good with skeletons. If you go Dark Ranger with uh, Black Arrow, you go mostly uh, Destroyers. If you go Impale with Crypt Lord, you go mostly Abominations. Does he pick up the tome? He picks up the tome. Does he kill the trapper? He does kill the trapper. The skeleton is doing a lot of damage here. There's some more skeletons as well. Lich is still just afraid, guys. 13 XP on the Lich. This was the bomb peasant. Remember that peasant that died over here? 13 XP went to the Lich. His footman against the skeleton. Oh, more backup for the skeletons. And some more backup for the skeletons at this lich. Maybe you need the lich now. He's still afraid that the human is somewhere over there. I guess. But he's sending out some skeletons to scout. So so the lich knows we can safely move across the map, guys. What do we get over here? Nice cloak of flames. This archmage is almost level 4. The mountain king almost level 4. Pretty strong heroes. This death knight is, uh, is almost level 4. But the lich is still level 1. So... Spaghetti, the lich. Skeletons here trying to kill some more peasants. Can they get this peasant? They do get a peasant. Wow. There's Dark Ranger. I'm here, as always. For the trees. For Nezul. For Ayr. Kaukala. Oh, there she is. One turtle goes down. He's going for the next turtle, guys. Coil on the Dark Ranger. And he's now going for this big one. He's dead. Nice. What a mana ceiling. Now he can steal so much mana. Here's skeleton. The skeleton here. Maybe in whole position. Just killing more peasants. Don't. Okay. That was not whole position. The Mount King. He wants this item. Oh, you see him wanting. You see him just desiring this item. He just wants to kill, just to, to loot their items. He's just, he's worse than a thief, guys. He's a murderer, but he's a murderer and a thief. That's like the worst. A crystal ball, though. He uses it over here. He sees exactly what Sheik is up to. Sheik with his level two heroes. Puts up quite the last on Dark Ranger. Slips of agility on the Dark Ranger. He's at 31 agility now. She does a lot of damage. 33 to 43. Quite a lot of damage. What a game. Wrong franchise. Chaco XD for Rohan. Okay. Flaming King. Damn, so evil. He's evil. He is so evil. Hello. You think the undead is evil? No. The undead are just killing to increase their army size. They're just killing units. So they uh, can make skeletons out of their bodies. These are very evil. At least they have a noble goal. They want to win the war. But the Mountain King, he just wants items for himself. Belt of Giant Strength, pretty good one. Pretty good, guys. Post a tome of XP, pretty good. Picks it up with the level 5 Mountain King. The Archmage picks up the Belt of Giant Strength. The Archmage is just level 4 and half. Here's a nice attack here by Sheik. Wah, wah. Six supply against 70 supply. A lot of skeletons here. There's abomination in the front. There's a uh, oh, this guy's dead. A nice dispel on the skeletons. That's how you play this game. There goes one priest guy. And I mean, he's killing more. He's, uh, you know, what's he killing next? Mount King kills a fiend, of course. Stormbolt kills anything. He also has to of the beast, but he doesn't want to use it right now. There's two destroyers up in the air. Uh, this water metal, like you don't care. Like, there's Stormbolt on the abomination. He's dead. And what is he gonna kill next? Well, I don't know. It depends what the uh, name is written on this hammer. What he has in his hand. Okay, the Dark Ranger. She just dies. She was there and now she's not there. Uh, of course, next is the Abomination. I'm sorry, v Claw for uh, uh, the Dark Ranger dying. This Abomination also is dead. This Abomination also going down. Uh, Mountain King just shoots a greater healing potion. The Archmage is level 5. 
Who's gonna win this game? Well, this game's already over. Blade won this game just now. This uh, Mountain King might hit level 6 if Sheik stays in the game. With two destroyers, one is over here. Uh, does he use the scroll of the beast yet? Or did he use it already? No. No, he doesn't need... Oh, the Lich eats a fiend. Do we see another Stormbolt? I don't know. Like, the question is... I mean, what is the question? The question is, what is the question, apparently? Uh, he did lose some peasants here, so he has to rebuild the peasants. And the Mountain King has mana for one more Stormbolt. And that's just not just any Stormbolt, guys. That's level 3 Stormbolt. It's only 1.29 Stormbolt, which doesn't do insane damage. It just does almost insane damage. Right? <laughs> it, it was nerfed from 350 to what? 325, I believe? Another fiend went down. That was probably to the Stormbolt. Uh oh, he had another one available. There goes another priest. Meanwhile, the destroyers are just trying to kill stuff. We have the Rifeman here defending against the destroyers. The Mountain King king here just killing undead heroes he's just so murderous he's just insane he just you know you know he just wants to kill these heroes for their items right he probably doesn't realize that if he kills them they don't drop their items if he knew that maybe he wouldn't even be killing these heroes he'd be thinking it was a waste of time uh expansion going up here for chic definitely tp's out chic is definitely still in the game uh but his win percentage is so small guys winning from this position Almost impossible. I say almost because there's of course a, a, a chance here that Blade just accidentally attack moves his own Mount King somehow. He kills his own Mount King. There's three destroyers here in the air. Just harassing. What's your work with three spirit hero? That's uh, the frog hero. There's a water elemental. He is going for this ghoul. Archmage helps out a little bit as well. He does plus six damage with that class of attack, of course. The ghoul is still alive. Still alive, guys. He's over there in the back. This acolyte takes a lot of damage. Me over here, he's killing peasants. Pretty good by Sheik. Killing peasants is what he likes to do in his free time. Look at this haunted gold mine. Still 3.6k gold. These ghouls are dead, guys. Ghouls don't fight against level three water elementals. They don't win, at least they. You know, hold their ground. We don't have a TP here. For for Blade, actually. This Rifleman is dead. Uh, okay. There's some more skeletons. Actually, maybe Blade found a way to still lose this game. It's, I mean... Like, imagine if all these peasants turn into skeletons. The Dark Ranger is level 3 now. There's a skeleton. Okay, this one might get away. No. Turns into a skeleton. So no more peasants, I think, for, for Blade. Okay. Well, do we have a base race? There's one peasant over there. If he just kills both these bases. Kills all the peasants. We have an expansion here for Sheik. With only two acolytes on it, but sure. The problem is, Blade doesn't know about this expansion. He doesn't know. Oh, but the Death Knight, where's his uh, Mountain King? There he is. He's level 6, by the way. Skeletons. Okay, it seems like he will at least save this expansion. This one will fall, though. There's a peasant over there. Maybe you want to kill it, Blade. Okay, destroyers are going to kill it. And Oh, there's a the scout. There's the Footman scout, guys. And look what he's scouting. He's scouting this base. He sees the Acolytes. Maybe he can kill the Acolytes. Destroyers getting wept. And snared, etc. Farm is taking some damage. Acolyte retreat. This town is under siege by a water elemental. Does Death Knight have. Uh, uh oh. The Death Knight creeping this creep camp. Might have lost him to the game. He cannot fight, actually. There's a parrot with vitality, I think, on the. Yeah, on the floor. Uh, Death Knight just dying, of course, to the Mountain King. That's what he does to heroes. He just kills them. There goes Death Knight, and that is pretty good. For Sheik. Uh, not for Sheik, for Blade. Pretty good for Blade. The Mountain King now uh, is not saying anything, but Bash, he doesn't need to say anything to hit you in the face with his hammer or his ha axe. So, yeah, that's nice. Statues and destroyers just killing buildings. Nova here on the peasants. Killing peasants. The Lich, of course, is gonna die after the Dark Ranger already went to Dark Ranger Heaven. Uh, okay, I mean, what happened to the footman? Oh, there he is. He kills the Acolyte. 
I think Sheik is dead, but he's just going for a base race. Going for this base race, guys. The town is under siege. Farm is going down. Here is the... You know, he's Blade, guys. Here he is. I wonder if he has level 3 bash. We haven't seen Avatar, right? He has the info potion. He probably has an Avatar, but we won't see this game. Oh, nice unsummons. Does he have an altar? No. Um, okay, he just has destroyers. Seven destroyers. He's just trying to base race with seven destroyers. <laughs> Sheik, man. He's so beautiful. You can just see his beautifulness uh, in these destroyers. Just flying around. They're like raven. Like a flock of raven just flying around. So beautiful. He's going again for some buildings. Of course, the buildings at the center of this area are harder to kill than the ones on the edges. Oh, mass TP. The destroyer is in trouble. This one, in is he in trouble? 39 hit points. Okay. Guess now they're going over here. Town is under siege. You know, this footman is trying to base race. And this one as well is trying to base race the destroyers. But destroyers is killing some peasants, you know. Do I have another mass TP? There it is. Destroyer almost dies. So many low hit point destroyers. Did anyone pick up the the periapt? I don't think so, but I'm not sure. He's killing this farm, it doesn't even matter. How hard you try. Footman going for the haunted gold mine. This footman going for the ziggurat. This archmage. Stop uh, TPing to the footman. I knew it was TPing to the footman because it was uh, pointed to the left. For some reason, I couldn't believe it. I expected him to TP back, but then I realized that he didn't have Rifeman with him anyway, so that's why it makes so much sense. The Rifeman in the back defending against the destroyers. Uh, all one died, and the Archman is just def uh, TPing forward, destroying this base. Three destroyers dying there in a matter of seconds. GG. GG. Second game goes to Blade. What a game, guys. What a game. But the rain is nice. I like the rain. I like the rain in video games, right? I don't like the rain in real life because I like the sun. The sun is so nice. But in video games, it can be like so depressing and raining. I, I love that, man. I, I absolutely adore like this, this gloomy feeling in, the, in games, in video games. Nice lightning shield here on the Archmage. Swims the water elemental, going for the Renegade Wizard. He's going to die very fast. Here's a Death Knight. He makes sure he's standing next to the skeleton so the Renegade Wizard Lightning Shields the Death Knight. Very nice. So you can use the Lightning Shield against the creeps. Something similar played uh, did here, I, I'm sure. Archmage is almost level 2, 188 XP. The Death Knight, making sure he doesn't accidentally kill anything with Lightning Shield. No, no, okay. Picks up the Tome. His last rogue is definitely dead. So. Very fast tech, of course, he's not, well, very fast, kind of fast tech, of course, because he doesn't creep with ghouls. He can use all these ghouls for, uh, ghoul for lumber. Beautiful. There's the first fiend. And here we also see tech. So, one base for blade, one base for chic. What map? This uh, Fields of Ruin. It's one of the Back to Warcraft contest maps, half a year ago or something. Uh, this ghoul here takes a bit of damage, he does retreat. He's still alive. Oh, he takes some more damage, this ghoul. Oh no, I don't want to die, is what he's saying. But uh, where's the Death Knight? There he is, he has a coil for the ghoul. And the ghoul loves that coil for sure. All the footmen now go for the Acolytes. The Acolyte, I mean, this Acolyte doesn't want to die for sure. And he, he blinks from there to there, as Acolytes do sometimes. There, this footman is dead. This acolyte takes a coil. That's nice. This other acolyte. Oh, all these acolytes so long. It puts the archmage. Has to be careful. There's, uh, you know, a coil available. 70 damage on the archmage, of course. This peasant is still alive. One more attack and he could have coiled the archmage. But, oh, no, acolyte. One acolyte dies. That's the first acolyte that died, I think. Right? Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I see four acolytes. They should go back to work. He's going for this footman. Doesn't care about the water elemental. The acolytes are fighting. Uh, there goes the footman, and this water elemental will fall. We'll check uh, how much of a difference on gold in a moment. Like once he gets his fifth acolyte back, 
We'll check how much damage he did there. He killed one acolyte. He lost the footman. Played it. And he lost quite a bit of hit points on the Archmage. I don't know if that's gonna matter. He only lost one footman, right? Very good defend of the undead. That's what my chat is saying. The Death Knight here killing first soul trappers. Very nice. There's another fiend. Nice. Hello, Tunetic. Oh, the Magi completely dead. Picks up a ring of protection. Archmage, he got a gauntlet of ogre strength. Blacksmith is up. Farmer's going up. A player's force is There's the fifth attack. acolyte. There's the lich. Fifth acolyte, guys. So, about 400 gold, guys. 400 gold difference. Now, and that is always a little bit behind. I'm not sure, actually. I should. Why don't I know how much the undead is behind by default? Probably should know that by at this point. Let's say it's 50 gold behind by default because they start with three acolytes. So um, then he, you know he looks like 350 gold or something there. This ogre magi is dead. Ring of protection. Does he pick it up? Yeah, he picks it up. Are there any Koreans qualified for the Hydro Chocolate Cup? Lucy? Yeah, Lucy. <laughs> Let's hear. Summon some skeletons. Or, oh no, stack! This Bombi, guys. Where's where's a little baby? A little baby Bombi. There is. There she is. There's a Disney movie over there. Wilder the Metal here tanking the creeps. The Mountain King taking all the XP. The Archman is also one level 3. Death Knight shows up. Steals a Berserker. There's some skelet uh, fiends. There's a Lich. Nice Stormbolt on the uh, on the Death Knight. Is he going for an expansion again? Does, I don't think so. This worked what worked last game. So why not just do it again? He's passes the so long hit points. This Archmage. Coil Nova on the Archmage. Hello. This Archmage is not meant to be killed here by you, Sheik. Hello. Not by you. Okay, he's going back for the peasants. Or maybe the footman. There's a nice storm bolt, but just level one. There's a coil, but that's a okay, never mind. He has a mana potion. And this uh Oh no, the fiend dies! That's pretty good for Blade, killing a fiend. But the Archmage! Is he dead? No, 14 hit points is enough. This fiend uh or actually can he still snipe him somehow? He has a bomber coil. Don't forget, there's no towers, there's nothing here to Save his Archmage. There's no shop. There's no nothing. He has a TP. I guess he can dodge the coil. Oh, look at them. Canceling the coil. Archmage is going to TP to there or something. Oh, there's the coil. And oh. But how did he heal? Did he? He doesn't have a shop, right? How did he just heal there? Does he? How did he get a healing potion? Was that a healing potion? I don't know. Oh, he definitely picks up the Archmage. He's still alive. I thought he was going to die. There's mana for Nova now. But he has no shop anywhere, right? No. Did you just... Uh, I didn't... Priest? The priest healed him for enough hit points to survive another coil? Okay. Well, the Archmage survives. And there's a Tome of IQ for the Mountain King. Yeah, okay. Well, I didn't expect the priest to heal him that much. I thought he was still gonna die to the coil. Level 2 Koyo, guys. It's 140 damage. Remember, at one point, he was dead to one hit. He was like at 20 hit points. <laughs> so he got must have gotten like healed by like six times by the priests. Maybe uh, the priests were already healing him when he was there. That makes sense, I guess. Just don't remember the priest there. Anyway, the death knight here. But it makes sense because the priest TP'd with him when he was over there. So, yeah, it makes sense. This... Uh, no that potion of greater mana and him not really doing any real damage here and losing a fiend Sheik that is I'm talking about Sheik means that the uh, blade is definitely a hat right now ah. 
Pretty sure it was a scroll, to be honest. Ooh, maybe. A scroll of healing. I don't know, actually. Nice lightning shield here on this rifleman. They're just shooting. They're shooting creeps, guys. Everything is going to die here. Just heal, priest. Okay. Well, this lightning shield here on the creep, uh, on the water middle means he has to move him away so he doesn't accidentally kill the wizard. Uh, there's lightning shield now for the mountain king. Oh, he's gonna creep over here. These mud golems taking a lot of damage. One is dead. That's one dead muddy, guys. Another dead muddy. Like this, like Neo and Remo. Symbolizes. Of course, it's not the real Neo and Remo. It just symbolizes Neo and Remo. I'm just saying. They're still alive, guys. Don't worry. This rifle man in the back. Shooting at the granite golem. This granite golem is dead. What is this? Ooh, nice item. It leaves a wand of lightning shield behind. Archmage could pick it up, but... Amulet spell shield. Amulet of spell shield. This rifleman maybe is still ensnared. Okay, no longer ensnared. 64 spy gets 44 spy. 20 supply lead here for blade. He should be able to hold this, right? There's like what? There's a crypt lord. There's an abomination. There's tri hero. Ice coil on the priest. There's an orb, of course, on the lich. There's uh oh, there's this disease cloud. But the lich, oh no, the lich is dead. Okay, this should be GG. And there it is, GG. Okay, nice. Blade wins. 2-2-1. Two, two, Blade will go to the finals. Sheik won't go to the finals. Sheik, he he tried to play in so many high to Jocko uh, league qualifiers, guys. But Sheik, he never made it. One time he made it to the finals against Cruncher, against Melancholy. And he lost. He could have won that one, maybe.